you are looking at a 2012 Ford E350 XLT Super Duty 12 passenger. It's a really nice van. Uh, it has some miles on it, but I mean, besides that, being fleet maintained, it's in good shape. Uh, it has clean body. Uh, there's some extra mats in here. Uh, the seats are all in good shape. All of the uh, vents are in the ceiling. All the seat belts are intact. Uh, it has barn doors in the back. As you can see. Uh, it has a big door here for an entrance. They made these slightly larger in these years. One little separation in the seat, but overall, the rest of them are all actually perfect. Um, they took the ashtrays out of some places. Let me see if I can zoom in. There you go. There's no ashtray. They left one and took out the other one. I don't really see how they're necessary these days. Not too many people still smoke. Um, dashboard's in good shape. I'm going to check out all the interior options when I get in the van. Uh, it is a 5.4 liter V8. Just a proper motor for this size van. Fire it up. Didn't check the air conditioning. I'm going to do that real quick. It's not important in November, but it's going to be important in the spring. Turn the AC on. I had the heat on. All that's cooling off. I'm going to come out here. See it runs quietly. I like the grill style on these as opposed to the older ones. It's a much better looking van. Okay, the AC feels cold now. I'm gonna make a disclaimer that it's difficult to judge when it's cold outside how cold the air conditioner is. But it does, if it's colder than the ambient temperature and it's about 45 degrees outside, so I'm saying that it that it works. Uh, the heat works, I know, because that's what I turned on when I got in here. Let me roll the window up. I'm gonna take this for a spin. Uh, the tire pressure sensor, one of the tire pressure sensors is out. I checked all the pressure on all the tires on the van, and they're all good. So, it does have a tire pressure sensor out. And it's telling me that an oil change is required. So those, both of those things, not that difficult, but, 241,711 miles. But at the price point that we're selling this van at, it's a very good deal. Uh, these are hard to find at any mileage or price. I mean, unless you're buying a brand new one. Um, so, if you decide that this is the van for you, let me roll the window up so you can hear me. If you decide that this is the van for you, you'll owe a deposit of $250 followed by the balance within seven days. You then have a total of 30 days to pick this van up here in Frankfort, Delaware. Uh, Frankfort, Delaware is located 20 minutes north of Ocean City, Maryland, about two hours south of Wilmington and Philadelphia. Uh, if you fly here, you wanna to fly to Salisbury Airport. It's airport code SBY, Sierra Bravo Yankee. We can pick you up during business hours or by appointment. We'll drive you back to the lot, put a 60-day Delaware temporary tag on this van, and you can drive it back to wherever you're from. Uh, if you have any questions about this van uh, while it's up for auction, you can feel free to call the car lot. The number is 302-732-6800. My name is Jay. My office manager's name is John. Uh, anybody that you speak with will be more than willing to answer any and all questions you might have. Uh, I can take other pictures, videos even. Um, otherwise, I wish you good luck and happy bidding on a 2012 Ford E350 Super Duty XLT.